back to my channel and in today's video I'm going to be doing a back to school life hacks video for you guys. So last year I uploaded a back to school life hacks video and it was one of my most viewed videos on my channel which is super exciting because I really worked hard on that one. So I wanted to do another one 2016 version and I wanted to kind of show the differences of how I was filming and editing back then which was only a year ago compared to how I am filming and editing now, which is 2016. So I think that I've improved a lot, but I'm definitely looking for more improvement. Also, if you guys want a chance to be featured in next week's video, all you have to do is just answer the question. I will have it right here. But basically, if you started school already, tell me which life hacks do you need to survive school right now if you've already kind of went to school and you're getting a good idea of how bad or good or in the middle it's going to be then tell me which life hacks you are going to find the most helpful so i'm going to collect the first 10 5 10 answers i'm going to screenshot them and then in the very next video i'm going to put those answers right in the video so you can be featured and i'm going to be doing this method a lot i used to do the secret word and if you commented the secret word then you would get a shout out but I started kind of like messing up the shout out so I'm going to do this and see how it works but basically like I said answer the question and if you are the first five to ten people to answer then I will put your answers in the very next video so anyways that's enough for this intro it's super long I'm sorry let's just get into the video so for the first hack, we are going to be making a rainbow highlighter. So all you are going to be needing are some highlighters, of course. I'm using a yellow one as the base because it is a lighter color. But basically, I'm coloring one side of the yellow highlighter with the blue and the other side of the yellow highlighter with the orange to make this really cool rainbow effect. This is perfect for wanting to spice up your nose a little bit and have some really cool highlighter effects in your nose worked that well so I had to recolor in the colors but eventually it gave me a really cool a rainbow effect and I recommend this for anyone out there who just wants to do something different. So next set your alarm clock 10 minutes early because when you wake up in the morning it'll seem like you're running late however you're just on time. This will make you hurry up and get out the door and you won't be slacking. For the colorful staples basically you are going to need some staples and nail polish. So I'm just taking my Sally Hansen purple nail polish and I'm just going to paint the staples with the nail polish. So once it dries completely, then you can take the staples, pop them into your stapler, and voila! When you go to staple stuff, you will have some really cute staples. Now I noticed that on the camera it didn't really show up as well, but trust me guys, I have some really cute purple staples and they're really easy to make. At nighttime, wear a sleeping mask, and this is going to help you fall asleep a lot quicker. So when you don't wear a sleeping mask, your eyes are exposed, which means you're going to want to open your eyes, and you're going to look at things, and your mind's going to be active. You don't want your mind to be active, so wear a sleeping mask so your eyes stay closed, and you'll be in a deeper sleep. So color code your notes. them a lot better than people who just use regular pencil. So if you use colorful markers, it'll help your brain remember all the notes a lot better. Also, it'll make you want to take notes. Taking notes isn't the funnest thing, and I know funnest is not a word, but usually it's not the best thing to do in the world to take notes, but if you're coloring and having fun, trust me, you're definitely going to want to take notes. So color code your notebooks. As you can see, from the tops, all of the notebooks look exactly the same. I have color-coded notebooks, but for those who just have the plain composition books, I recommend color-coding the tops of your notebook so that you can easily tell which one is which when you go to pick out from your binder, from your notebook bag. So use your whiteboard as a binder. So basically, you are just going to take your binder and you're going to use some Expo markers. These are basically dry erase markers and you can doodle them. You can have fun with it. You can write down homework, important notes. It's basically super fun to just doodle in class with Expo markers on your binder and then you can wipe it off when you're all done. So 
lastly, read with a treat. So basically, this kind of motivates you to want to read more. I know it sounds really fattening, I guess, but basically, place a candy or whatever your favorite food is, whether it's a specific type of chip, put it at the end of everything that you have to read. So if you have to read a big book and you don't want to do it, just place the candy at the very end of the passage, and every time you read something or a paragraph, then you can reward yourself with a so candy much for this treat video. at the end. If you guys enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, and if you're not subscribed to my channel already, please go and hit that subscribe button. I am willing to subscribe to your channel if you're willing to subscribe to mine. I'm willing to open up to look at different channels as well. So just leave me a quick comment saying that you want me to check out your channel, and I will do it because that's what I'm all about. And anyways. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Like I said, comment down below your answer to the question down below. And I will see you guys later. Bye.